So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and open this pack right there, guaranteed 80 to 94 overall player pack and welcome our new team's chapter, welcome attacker, I'm gonna open that pack. But before, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can get free FC points in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So basically, we've got this star pass right there, as you can see. And this star pass is a very, very good link at the start before because if you played the Founders event or if you became a founder last season, at the end of the season, of course, you will be able to claim not only bottom rewards, which are free to play, but you will be able to claim the premium version uh, play, uh, rewards as well, where you can get 88 overall. We need to junior right there at the end, but other than that, you're gonna get a lot more rewards as well. Like you're gonna get coins, a lot of coins, some players, 80 to 89 overalls, some more coins, gems, uh, balls right there, as you can see, star points, but also you will be able to get FC points. Uh, you need to spend money pretty much to go on and get these FC points, of course, but in this first premium star pass, you will be able to get. 1500 fc points for free i'm gonna go and count it with you if you don't agree, if you don't believe me but you're gonna get 1500 free fc points which is quite decent i think you can go on and spend those uh, 1500 fc points wherever you want um if you want to you can go on and spend them in the on the market of course or in the store of course but right now i would suggest you to save all your fc points and there might be a very very valuable star pass or event pass whatever where you can go out and spend those uh, those uh, FC points. So I think you sh if you go ahead and claim any of those FC points right now, I think you should definitely save them. Let me go ahead and collect all now. I'm gonna get some FC points and some gems right there, as you can see, which is quite decent. I've got 500 now. I spent 100 um, in in uh, congratulation or celebration packs. So that's why I have two. I had 200 only, but now I'm gonna have 500, as you can see. So I already claimed 300, which was there. That's 600 now. Let's go on and find more. You're, you're getting a lot of gems, of course, as well, and a lot of other rewards, coins. This is 900 right there. This is 1200. And then we've got this 1500 of FC points. And at the end, of course, you're gonna get a free Vinicius Junior right there. Isn't that great? That card looks very, very good as well. That's a lower overall version than uh, Vinicius Junior's main card as well, like base card. Vinci Junior base card is 89 overall. This one is 88, and also everybody has got a free 89 overall Pioneer Gris, uh, not Grisman, Grealish. So I don't know. Probably most people are not gonna use it, but it's still a very very good card. I guess we'll take that for the bench, or maybe you're gonna start him and put Grealish on the bench because this card does really look very very nice. But make sure you go ahead and uh, play Star Pass, not play Star Pass, get a lot of uh, a lot of Star Pass credits as many as you can. Um, if you're asking how you can get those Star Pass credits. It's very very easy. Pretty much go ahead and do this uh, daily uh, daily quest every single day. You just need to claim. You just to get 100 daily points, and you will be able to get uh, 600, 250, and 150 star pass credits every single day, which is a thousand. As well as you will be able to get uh, 600, 1400 every single week as well. And there is also um, a possibility where you can go ahead and share your share a photo of that quest and you're also gonna get 800 extra. I've already done that today, that's why it's not showing, but you can go ahead and share uh, share it and you are gonna be able to get even more star pass credits that way. Also, you can get some more star pass credits by playing worst attack and tattoo it, of course, but that's not a lot, that's not a lot. Basically, you just need to complete, uh, uh, complete those daily quests and you will be able to get that star pass done very, very quickly. Right now then, what I want to do is go ahead and uh, complete these exchanges right there. I'm gonna get star points and uh, start points, sorry, and welcome points, and I'll be able to claim some of those rewards um, as well as, as I mentioned, 80 to 94 overall player pack, attacker player pack, where I can pack um, Eusebio, Pele, as well as R9 Ronaldo, I'm pretty sure, and all the other great cards. I've got exactly eight uh, players, welcome players, whatever they're called. No, I've actually got nine. I've actually got nine. It doesn't matter. I've got nine and I bought them just because, just to go ahead and complete these exchanges because I didn't have any 75 overall welcome to FC Mobile cards. Before, I went ahead and spent like 1.4 million coins on those eight or nine cards, I think. So that's all right. Let's go ahead and see how many points I've got. I've got 544 and I need 750 to complete that. But that's not a problem for me because I can go ahead and claim these rewards with my start points. As you can see right there, 100 extra. 
I'm gonna go ahead and claim this as well, 20,000 coins. And extra gems right there as well. Gems are always welcome there, uh, here. Gems are always welcome. 60 to 69 overall player packs, not a great one, of course. Um, we've got three bronze players there, and I'm gonna claim this stadium. And you might think you might think that I'm not gonna be able to claim those welcome points. Uh, bam, you will be able to claim those welcome points with your gems. I would definitely suggest you to go ahead and spend your gems to get those welcome points. It's definitely worth it. I'm spending my 1250 gems. We've got a lot of gems either way. So spending those 1250 gems in this one is not that big of a problem. I think this one is worth it as well for 2500 gems. If you want to, you can do it and I think it's worth it. That's a just guaranteed player. This one, 84 to 94 overall. I'm not sure. I mean, we are getting a lot of gems. So it might be worth it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not. This one though, first one for welcome points, I think it's worth it. Anyways, let me go into the new team section once again, and I'm gonna open the attacker pack. Um, should I open attacker or something else? What is that? This is, um, does it say it? This says midfielder, this says attacker, this says defender or goalkeeper. This is just any, I think. Yeah, this is just any. I'm gonna go with the attacker one uh, because we can get some very, very nice pulls there. Not that one. Uh, we can get Garincha, Eusebio, Juan Basten, Haaland, Mbappe, Benzema. Look at that. So many great cards right there. Hopefully, we are not going to get like 80 or 81 overall card. And we are actually going to get somebody decent. But it's it's probably going to be somebody quite bad. Let's be honest. It, that, that's just my luck. Even though I did get 91 overall Baggio, which was a good pull. We've got 71 overall by Bino Gittens there. Englishman from... Dortmund, they've got, they had a couple of Englishmen, of course, with Sancho and with Jude Ballingham. That's another one, I guess. We've got a couple of these bronze players there. And now 80 to 94 overall player pack, where we can pack this 94 overall Garincha, 94 Eusebio, 93 Van Basten. So there is no Ronaldo, actually. There is no Ronaldo, but Garincha, Eusebio is great. Van Basten is great. I'll take any 90 plus overall. I'll take Nkunku as well, let's be honest. I'll take Nkunku as well. Give me a walkout first. It is a walkout. It's a good start then. It, it's an icon. Oh, nice. Oh, that's Sanchez. Hugo Sanchez, right? Is that Hugo Sanchez? Hernandez. That's not bad. 90 overall. He's worth 9.8 mil. I'm definitely selling that. That's such a good pull as well. That's such a good pull. Is he selling? He is selling. There we go then. That's my... That's one of, one of, that's the best pool even, not one of the best. Baggio is 91 overall, but he's not worth as much as Hernandez is. I'm gonna try to sell him for 10 million coins. That's so good, by the way. That's so good. That's just free 10, should I sell him actually? I think I'm gonna save him for now. I'm gonna save him for now because his price might go up. Not sure though, not sure. Should I sell him? Let me know down in the comment section if I should sell him or if I, if I save him. Whatever you say, I'm gonna do, oh. Look at that, he's already selling for 10.3 mil, so that, thank God I took him out. I was gonna sell him for 10 mil. His price is probably gonna go up after that as well. Let me know down in the comment section, should I buy, uh, should I sell him? Should I save him in my team? If I put him in my team, he, uh, my team might become 90 uh, overall as well. It's 89 now. Is it 90 overall? It's not. If I put um, Mukuku on the bench, it's still not. Probably if I change formation and put a bear right winger, it might happen. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, this this one ended very very well. I'm happy about that. Let me know if I should turn, uh, should sell Hernandez or not though. But that's gonna be the end for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and peace.